What's up? What's up, man? What's going on, man? Man, man, we got the famous author, <laughs> writer. Working on the famous part. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see your face. Oh, I appreciate it, right, man. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll receive it. Man, we got Anthony Dorsey in the building. Yeah. Man. And, you know, as, as I know that you are a great creative writer, so let's just talk about what even inspired you to get into writing. Um, when I was, I was um, at a theater, not at a theater, but doing um, a theater play. I'd build the bike drops for a uh, theater play at the Florida Times Union. Right. And while we was in like rehearsal, and I was, well, they was having rehearsal while I was building the set because I had to see how they maneuver through the set. Right. Um, I asked the director uh, about me getting a part in the play. Right. And I actually got the part, and I actually got the uh, one of the main characters. And from that point on, I started getting into like the acting aspect of it. And then <clears throat> I started saying to myself, like, man, I think I can write write a play too. Just looking at the script. Right. And um one night I had a dream about uh, Mike Epps crawling through the vent. Ventilation mm -hmm. system and he the vent gave away and he fell to the ground. And it made me laugh in my sleep. So I was thinking like, man, that'd be a good part in the movie. So I started writing around that. So that was kind of my first time ever writing a, a screenplay. Right. So that's how I got into writing, okay. just from theater. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you ain't never, you didn't even go to school for this. You just no, no, I ain't go to school. I, I God got. God bless. You. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got a degree in drafting. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I ain't go to school for that. I went to school for drafting because I, I'm a master, car I'm a master carpenter by the way. But I wanted to draft the draft aspect of it because I wanted to sit in the office. Okay. Sometimes, you know, I, I love I love building, right. but sometimes I wanted to go to design it. You know, that's why I went into that. Okay, so like, um, like what what projects you got coming out? What kind of projects you working on? Oh, I got this movie. I don't know if everybody know about it, but I got this movie. I got working on, you know, with me myself, you, um, Greg Bell. Shout out to Greg, Mike City, my um. My um, partner with the company Metal Gear Production, we got a movie called Story coming out. Right. Uh, gonna be epic. Gonna uh, change the city. Right. Yeah, you seen the views on the thing. Man, it's gonna right. change the city, man. Damn. It's, it's gonna change the city, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm kind of like a cre. I'm like I was saying, you could title me as a creator, cause I'm kind of like a perfectionist. So. It ain't gonna just be no bootleg hood kind of movie, cause ain't no hood boot movie. You know what I'm right. saying? So, if I don't know if you read the script yet, I got to get you the script so yeah, you can read yeah, it. Yeah, I get the script. Cause boy, just the things that happen in the movie, right? It's gonna tap into a lot of people's spirit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, with this with this movie coming out, like, what what what's your what's your goal? What's your goal with this movie? Like, what y'all plan on doing with the movie? Far as uh, getting it out there, yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> I was told to keep it a secret. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was told to yeah, keep it yeah, a secret because yeah, yeah. that's that's why I was <laughs> saying it's gonna be epic. Like people right. gonna like what what just happened? Right. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah. You got, you got to hit them kind of like with a surprise. Yeah, because I, I love my city. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to I want to be one of the pathfinders because there are some people that's doing some stuff out there. You know right. what I'm saying? But I just want to be a part of that that movement that put Jacksonville on the map through the production end of it. You know, film and you know, you got film companies and they did filming back in the days in Jacksonville. That was like we was kinda like the hub of film. Right. Where did that happen? <laughs> so we coming we make it we bringing it back. Right. We bringing it back. I mean, and not to speak, you uh you gonna won an award before so Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I won an award in Hollywood. I went to Hollywood and received an award for my first move I wrote called Money in the Bank. I right. um, actually just submitted it to the uh, ABFF Film Festival uh, okay. that's coming this June, I think June 13th through the 18th. Right. So I'm excited about hearing the outcome of that. Right. Um, I, that's, that's part of the, uh, the script, the, when he fell, fell through the uh, floor. Right. I tell you, I had a dream about right. That's the script I submitted and I won in Hollywood. Well, first time. 
All right, so like, uh, how many years ago that was when you wrote that movie? I won the award in 2011, so it had to be 2010, going on 11, because I wrote it fast, I did a little, like, revised it, right. I uh, read it, I revised it again, and then I signed it, just to see. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just went yeah, out. I mean. So any, uh, any other type of success you had with, you know, with your creativity? Um... Yeah, I wrote a book. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got the book here. Yeah, I wrote uh, Tell Yourself the Truth. Uh, I, I believe it's a success because, you know, writing writing is easy. It's just doing it is the hard part of it. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I wanna write yeah, a yeah. I want to write something. I got an idea. Right. Write it down. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... When you write it down, you go, you get that first page or two, then it comes like, boy, I don't feel like writing no more. Right. Unless you into it, unless you 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 feel compassionate about it, like I did this book. Right. Tell yourself the truth. I was real and story, the movie story. I was real compassionate about it because it it's a part of me because I grew up in that atmosphere. You know, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in an atmosphere where a lot of things happen to a lot of people that people don't know about. People are, people, that's, and that's part of the book. It's kind of like story, tell the story, the book kind of bring you, this is how you complete your life. You know what I'm saying? This is how you change right. out of that. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I've been molested, but I tell myself the truth about the molestation. You ain't the only one. Right. You ain't dead. You breathing. Right. Move on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy to say. It's easy to say because I ain't never been molested. It's easy to say, but there's there's a hindrance over your life when you hold on to stuff. Right. And you can't do that. Right. That was, yeah. So so your prosperity, like I like the book say, tell yourself the truth, the real secret of prosperity. The prosperity is taking your issues on. Sit by yourself. Take your issues on personally. Right. Once you take them on, understand what you want, right. what you need in this life. Simplify it. Be happy. Because right. everybody got a store. Hence the movie store. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Okay. Hey, how many pages in the book? Uh, I think it's a hundred and. Let me see. It's a hundred. Mm-hmm. That's it, yeah. I simplified it. Right. I'm hitting points. Right. Get it. You straight to the point. In yeah. Book. Yeah. Get yeah, it. it no understand it. Story. Yeah. Cause <laughs> that's what we do. Right. That's what we do. We we sit we sit and and, and dwell on what happened to us. Right. My daddy wasn't there. Right. My mom on drugs. Right. Uh, my uncle raped me. Right. You ain't the only one, baby. Right. Take it on. I ain't say forget about it. Take it on. Right. Don't let it hinder you. Take it on. It, it, it's, it's like get what you need to get where you're trying to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get what you need out of that situation. Learn what you learn from it. Mm-hmm. Get it. Get, get the move. Mm-hmm. Prosper. Yeah. Because a lot of people I know that they went through things in their past and, you know, it's kind of hard for them to move on in their life with that thought of their past in them. I tell people all the time, like, that's just your past. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called past. Right. Pass by. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it just got to pass by. Yeah. You just got to get over it. Yeah. You know? It's done. And some people be like philosophical, oh, he ain't having a mom in his life, he ain't a dad in his life. He he got he used to get picked on here a little, but some of the most successful people had a lot of bad right. things happen to them when they were young. And look at them now. Let, I'm gonna tell you one of my 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 one of my greatest uh, quotes in the Bible. Mm-hmm. The the uh, the the quote uh, you want to call it uh, the scripture. As a man think of mm-hmm. in his heart, so is he. So if you think about that thing. You're going to be that thing. Right. 
So if I think about my mom ain't been in my life, and I'm thinking about that all the time, guess what? That's going to hinder me. Right. And then when I have kids, well, well not me, because, you know, my mom ain't in my life. But when I have kids, then I might end up not being in my kids' life because I thought about my mama wasn't in my life right. all them years. Yeah. And I... And I never moved past that. So that 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 spirit of of disappointment, abandonment, is on me. Right. So it became me. Right. So I passed it on to my kids. Right. Tell yourself the truth. Deal with it. Move on. Right. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So you know, like for everybody out there who uh, you know, cause like I, I always make this part here about the youth in our city, the people who trying to do things and change their right. life. So, like, what type of uh, inspiring words that you can give the people out there that's going through things in life? And you can, I mean, basically your book says it all, but from, yeah. from, from, from you personally, okay, what can you tell them to make them achieve goals and get past everything? First, first people have to understand that um, not 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 going biblical on you, but just to go go there. You know, I know everybody is not you know Christians and all that, but I know where everybody is. Everybody consume love. Right. So they say love destroys all. I mean, it conquers. That's what it say. Right. Love conquers all. So you have to get that in your spirit first. That love conquers all. You got to get that in your spirit. Once, once you understand that in your spirit, then it comes, see, everything starts with a thought. So the youth is not receiving love from somewhere. Right. So I say we got to step up. Right. Parents, neighbors, community, because love conquers all. So they're not receiving love. So what they're doing is they're, they're, embracing the hype of what they see on TV, what they hear in music, what they see around them, what they parent you like like people go through like you can go you don't know what people like these kids probably go in the house, daddy just beating them up or cussing them out, drinking bad. You don't know what these kids going through. But that's why I say you gotta get love first. You gotta understand love. And once you understand that, first get that in your spirit, it's all about how you think as a man thinker. So if, if the struggle hard for this kid and he think the best way out is to sell drugs, it's easier. What are you going to do? When you, when you hungry, don't you go get it? Right. You got to go get it. You got to go get it. So you, I can't, you can't fault the kids for trying to go get it because they hungry because their mom might not be feeding them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you put another, if you program them differently, as a man think of, right. go get a job. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, these, some of these, and another thing, some of these kids ain't never seen outside of Jacksonville mm -hmm. or their community. Right. So, so their vision of life is in the box. Right. Because there's some people out here who are, can't make it 18 but never went to Disney World. Ain't been to Disney World. Ain't been to Disney World. 22, ain't no, Orlando heard about it, ain't been Orlando. No, this is the sad part. People 18 years old and never been to the Jacksonville Zoo and they stay in Jacksonville. Exactly. Like, you've never been they to the Jacksonville they don't know what a, They don't know what a giraffe look like, really. Right. Besides on TV. Right. So that's what I'm saying. That, that's, that's called programming your things, your thoughts. Right. If, you, if, you, if you take a, a child and a, a teenager or whatever and Show them a different way. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to show them a different way and let their thoughts change about their circumstances. Mm -hmm. Then you change the community. Right. That was, uh, hey, I, told, I, I think everybody would agree with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why your book is the best book to go get out right now. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, y'all go get it. Right, Go right. get it. Man, man, yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? For everybody there who looking for you, they just not find out about you, tell everybody where they can find you at. Okay, yeah. you um, Facebook is Anthony Dorsey. 
on uh, Instagram is Dorsey 100 percent, but percent is spelled P E R C N T. And my book is uh, on Amazon and Kindle. Okay. Tell yourself the truth. Tell yourself the truth. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate you for coming through, man. Hey, man. I appreciate you having me, man. All right. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff, so it's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You you gonna be part of this movement, man. We okay. listen story. Right. Y'all, hey, y'all get ready for this movie, cause it's going. It's, it's going. going. It's going. It's going. Y'all gonna be like, whoa. Yeah. Right. Cause I got the best. I got the best crew yeah. <laughs> in Jacksonville. Hey. So I can't lose. Yeah, we got the best writer in Jacksonville. I can't lose. I got the best crew. I can't lose. Right. I, I, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, boy, I can't lose.